Hello guys, today I will try to uh, demonstrate how to deploy a Node.js application on Railway. So I am going to create a new folder and create a new project called Railway. So let me open the terminal and create the app first using the command npm init Even I don't know, I know our app is working. Now let me start explaining how to host our simple server in the railway service. So if you go to the package.json, you will see we have the scripts, we have the dependencies, and we have the main. So so the so uh, what happens is that when uh, the railway uh, is uh, trying to deploy our application um, uh, to start our application on their server they will look for the package.json and specific command called npm start so we sh we will should have this npm start um, command in our package.json in any project that has to be deployed in express so let me copy that line and add this line uh, here and this is our starting command uh, so this express will read this command and use that to deploy so this is our file and this is our command this is the start command that railway looks for so that is done so i have to do some uh, repository addition uh, repository, sorry repository creation uh, in github before hosting on railway so give me some minutes so right now the repository is ready so now i can go to railway and create and uh, add a new project to my account so before uh, are adding a new project you need to create an account using the github credentials so this is my account and i'm already connected to github so now let me create a new project by clicking the new project and go go and select github repo then you select just search for my new github repo and i have the option to add variable i will just click deploy now so that's it over the railway will automatically uh, start to deploy without asking for any sort of config let's see if this works or not oh luckily our deployment is success i think that's it uh, so after the deployment, I need to go to the settings and create a public URL. We have to do this manually, uh, unfortunately. So we'll just uh, click on custom domain and we need to do some, give some URL. I'll just say railway demo or railway dot demo or railway dot D. I think nothing is working. Um, I'll just click something is wrong with this let me try this again so the branch is correct my code is in the main branch so I'll just click oh luckily that's it uh, I got a new URL from railway called no railway production 
wp.railway.app you can change this url by clicking the edit but i'm not gonna change right now um so let me let's see our server is running and our api is running in this url so this is asking whether our app is running in the specified port so let's see if this works or not so we need to push this new change and the best wonderful thing about railway is that after our commit and push to this branch railway will automatically sense the change in the branch of the repository that is connected and it will automatically update the deployment for us without doing anything so let's see it's still creating some issues that's it our app is working and our app is listening on so in this url slash and we can create new apis using uh using the express uh, blocks like slash api and that's it you know we can use slash api to get that particular api uh, that will be listening on this specific url and it will be listening in this public url so that's it um, thank